Does anyone else just not answer numbers that you don't know? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. I wish I had my own bag, never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry on. I was alright on my own. morning guys happy monday the weather is so sad it's been raining like pretty heavily for the last like like pretty much all weekend and i'm pretty sure it's meant to be raining like this all week as well but i mean it is good because australia always needs rain we're pretty darn dry but hopefully we can still have a productive week because i am so influenced by the weather if the weather's sad and gloomy and like raining all i want to do is watch movies inside or just like chill out like i slept in so much today i think i got out of bed at nearly 8 a.m that's insane for me. I'll see you guys afterwards. Hey, hoo hoo wee. It is, okay, what did we do? End workout, we did 42. Okay, window wipers, shush. Um, 239 active, 286 total calories. I need to go get petrol, but it's bucketing down with rain at the moment. Okay, hi guys. It is now much later since I last spoke to you. Um, it's currently like 9 p.m. I was just in bed watching Friends and Freya should be saying, do you wanna go to Macca's? So I've come along for the ride and I'm like, I don't know why I asked this question and I said to go through the drive-thru and Freya's like, no, to dine in you free. <laughs> Not trying to offend those people who dine in at Macca's, but like... So that's it's gonna be so nice for us to dine in and drive Yeah, well, yeah, honestly, unless you're like on a road trip yeah. and you're stopping to like have a rest or something. Anyway, that's what we're doing. I just thought I would pick up the camera and vlog I only vlog much today. I pretty much just edited the weekly vlog um, because it was 43 minutes and it took me literally all day to edit. Tomorrow I think I might be filming like a different type of video, like a dedicated video. So I don't know if I'll get much footage, but I'm thinking I might go to Ikea tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. So. Hey y'all. Hey, what can I get for you today? Another day, another story. Don't freak out. <laughs> it's kind of Kathleen. <laughs> Hi, please place Hi, can I please get a Big Mac meal in the medium Sprite, please? They have these like sticky mats on Amazon that you can just like pop on your I've car dashboard that. on it's TikTok. Where's my camera? I have an absolute tanty. Another day, another no, but yeah, it's like a sticky thing, and you stick it on the dashboard, and it like holds the camera stuff. Where's my camera? Thank you. We just got done. Done. I need to redo my nails. They kind of get to a point where they keep popping off, which is usually about at the like two week mark. So I think I'm gonna film like a makeup tutorial, like just a glam get ready with me type of video because I feel like doing one of those. Um, like do my hair, do my nails, just like the whole shebang. It's nice ish weather today as well. But yeah, I'm gonna head home now, have a shower, and then I'm gonna make my breakfast. Uh, I'll have a grande ice latte on almond milk cream. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, hi guys. It is now Wednesday. Mum and I are just going to Ikea. Just, it was so weird. I had been planning in my head. I think, I don't know if I mentioned in the vlog. I was planning in my head to go to Ikea this afternoon. Um, just like by myself because I had to ask Freya, but she was, um, she's a bit tired. So she's just chilling out today. And then mum this morning was like, oh, what are you doing today? Do you want to go to Ikea? And I was like, yeah, I do actually. So we've just gotten coffee. Um, I'm not really planning on getting anything specific but maybe like bits and pieces for my house possibly they have these like mugs there that I really want to get so we'll see but I've got on this really cute top from Begin Boutique and then jeans which are a bit hot but I kind of want to get like a pick in the car park so catch you guys when we're there I haven't been to Ikea in ages it'll probably be hella busy because it's school holidays but yeah. Hey guys, 
guys. Happy, uh, what's today? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I'm on my way to the gym right now. The weather is so bipolar. Monday, torrential rain. Tuesday, sunshine rainbows. Today, raining again, but I feel like it might pass. Hopefully it does pass. The plan for today is to film like a makeup video, like a my go-to makeup for like Instagram photos and just like a glam get ready with me type of video. We'll see how we go. I feel like when I have a good weekly vlog, like a long one or something, the one that follows it is gonna be shorter because I feel like, I don't know, we just had a bit of a boring week thus far. Gym time, I'm wearing the purple seamless stacks today. It's such a pretty color. I need to scrub off my tan today too because it's a bit rank. I'm gonna head in now. Ow, I'm very sore though. Oh, like the muscle here, so, oh my God, that's really sore. I need like one of those um massage guns or something and this toothpaste on my top. Connor, honestly. But yeah, like my shins are really sore too. Like I think I have shin splints or whatever they're called or I don't know, I'm just a bit sore. I don't really get sore anymore from the gym unless it's like stress or something. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, but oh God, my tan is not best. All right, I'll chat to you guys after the gym i also might pop into the supermarket afterwards say the same thing don't i <laughs> but yeah anyway. holy moly So I'm currently in the middle of filming like a different video and the DHL man just came and I'm going to unbox these now because I'm so excited. So like I mentioned in last week's weekly vlog, I made a purchase for myself just as like a little Christmas present to me, from me. Does anyone else just not answer numbers that you don't know? Firstly, I love how they give you the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got Louis Vuitton. And then I got something from Fendi. Wow, okay. If you're gonna comment mean things about buying like, you know, designer stuff, please don't. The last time I bought myself something like designer like this was my Louis Vuitton bag in the back, which was pretty much a year ago. I got it in November last year. Yeah, it's just like a little Christmas present to myself. I've worked really hard. I wanted it, so. These are jewelry pieces, by the way. Everything's just so bougie. That's what the little bag looks like. I've wanted this for so long. I remember seeing it in the store when I got my bag and thought, oh my God, that is beautiful. So I picked up, this is called the Nanogram Cuff. Oh, if only I didn't have a crusty tan at the moment. <gasps> so pretty. <gasps> and then to kind of go with that, I got this. Uh, oh gosh, it's so beautiful, look at that. Also jewelry, oh my God, the packaging, I just can't. I got another little bracelet. So that's what. That one looks like. So this one is more like a little cuff, if you can see there. And I just thought they would pair really nicely together. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh, I love it. Paired with like my, the gold rings and everything. Yay, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. It's just like a little like, Good job. Obviously, thank you guys so much as well because like, it's always so corny, but like without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I do as an amazing job. So thank you. But I need to get on with filming my other video. All right. Happy 
Friday. I didn't vlog that much yesterday. I didn't get up to anything exciting. I feel like this has been such a boring week. And I have, oh my god, the most painful pimple on my face right now. I think it could be from having some chocolate. Like, I had a lint ball. I had two lint balls the other day. And I think my skin is just like, what on earth is that? Because I'm just not used to that, I guess. I don't know, but it's really painful. Besides the point, but it's currently 7.57 a.m. Um, I've skipped the gym today just because I'm not in the mood. I've woken up kind of in a bad mood. You know when you just can tell that you're just like, it's going to be one of those days where you just feel like you're irritated by everything. But I don't want to be. I don't want to be in a bad mood. So let's hopefully that subsides. But I've just come to get a blood test just for like checking stuff and whatnot. And then I think there's a man there and then i think i'm gonna clean up my room my office just because it's giving me literal anxiety that the fact that it's so so messy right now i'm really keen to be able to get into my house so i'm gonna have a lot more space to put the things that i own just because i have so much like yeah clothes makeup pr that's just kind of like piling up i definitely need to do a giveaway at some point maybe in the new year just like pr that i just will never ever get around to using so get keen for that and then I have some work to do, but part of me kind of wants to go to Pacific Fair today just because I want to do some Christmas shopping. And I know, what's the day today? Like the 18th of December? We're even a bit late. But then I'm like, do I need to go all the way to Pacific Fair to do that? But I kind of also just want to go to Pacific Fair. I don't know. Also, update on my house. They've locked it up, so I can't get in anymore. I went to go look at it yesterday. Person looking at me. I went to go look at it yesterday, and it was locked. So yeah, how cool. But I'm like sad because I can't go in and like have a look at it anymore. made it to Pacific Fair. It's currently 10 to 11. Oh, this pimple on my face. Oh, I haven't had a bad pimple like this in so long. Alrighty, so I'm anticipating it's going to be hella, hella busy, but let's do this fam. I don't know whether I'm going to show you like what I get because obviously if I'm getting presents for other people, they might watch my vlog. So yeah, I brought with me a smart protein bar. I might get lunch at some point because this might be a big job, boys, but we'll see. Christmas so. is you. done Christmas shopping. I got all the presents I needed to get except for one I think just because well it's my dad. He's very hard to buy for. He's that person that doesn't want anything ever because I've gotten him presents in the past where he just doesn't not that he doesn't like them but he just doesn't use them. I'd rather buy him something that he wants once or like <laughs> needs. I don't know. So I got one, two, three, four, five presents I think. So pretty good. It's 2 p.m. now. How long have I been here for? Maybe we got lost in translation. Maybe I asked for too much. I got here at like 11, so I was here for three hours. Pretty good. This pimple on my face is so annoying. But I'm gonna head home now. Very, very hot. I might stop on the way home to get this thing for my dad. Maybe it is you. Saturday afternoon. Um, I feel like this weekly vlog is gonna be so short and I feel so bad, but like it's just been a 
for a week. Hopefully I'll get some footage today, but 3 p.m. currently, I've just been doing some editing. Today has honestly gone really, really fast. I look very shiny. But um, Freya and I actually have a little Christmas party with our friends um, that we're gonna get ready to go to. It's like white themed. So I'm, we're probably not gonna wear like white, white, like white and white and white, but like maybe a white skirt. I got in some stuff from Princess Polly the other day. So I might wear like this little white tennis skirt maybe. Why do I look so gray in this lighting? I swear I don't look, I've attempted to turn this pimple into like a mole. It's not really working for me. Tomorrow, I think I'll do a bit of a PR haul. Yeah, but let's get ready, shall I'm not gonna probably do anything too fancy. I'm just gonna figure out what to wear. Okay, so we've just gotten ready a little bit. I think this is what I'm gonna go for. So, kind of cash, because it's like, it is a casual thing. Um, But I've got this like white shirt. White shirt from Princess Polly from like ages ago. I think this is one of the first items that I ever featured in a Princess Polly haul. So I don't think they still have it, but I've gone like quite intense with the gold jewelry. Oh, that's cute. So, because we're trying to like obviously be like white, but not too extreme. Wide. Um, so yeah, I got the shirt, and then these shorts are from Glassons, and then maybe I'm thinking white boots. These are from Nasty Gal. And then for my hair, I've just like kind of done that whole like, oh, this took me no time, like just pinned it up with a claw clip, and then I've got my fringe out. These hoops are from Princess Polly. This 1999 necklace is from Heart of LX. This necklace, the C one, I get so many questions about that. That's from By Charlotte. I've dressed it up with a lot of gold jewelry just because it is like quite cash. I feel like we underestimate the power of jewelry. Like it really takes something from cash to not cash. So yeah, my watch is Daniel Wellington. This ring is Jazz Handmade. Um, Daniel Wellington ring, Pandora. And then these were my new bracelets that I got obviously that you guys saw. Very pretty. Almost four o'clock now, so we're probably gonna head off maybe in like half an hour or so. We'll see. I'm gonna make a coffee because I've only had one today. We didn't have any almond milk this morning, so I haven't had my normal amount of coffees, and so I'm gonna go make one. But I'm not drinking um, just because I don't feel like it, so I'll be the designated driver. Sunday. I just got done at the gym. Good session. Last night was so fun. We had like that little Christmas party as you guys would have seen. Yeah, it's currently quarter past eight. This morning when I went to go to the gym, I looked in my bag and I was like, oh my gosh, I have Millie's keys. Millie, if you're watching this, we have the same bag. So someone obviously, I don't know if it was Millie or someone else put her keys into my bag. So I'm gonna go drive to their house and just pop it in the letterbox. Cause obviously she needs a car keys. But yeah, like literally three of us, like in our friend group have the same bag. I'm gonna go do that. I kind of want to get an acai bowl. Um, but I'm like, I don't know. Cause I really want my pancakes. But Connor, it would be all right to switch it up for <laughs> once in a while. Okay, so it's now like 12, 15. I don't know where the day is going, but I just curled my hair because I'm about to get some content. I'm filming some Princess Polly stories and then I'm gonna show you guys. I got in some new Stax goodies that are launching on the 26th of December, so Boxing Day. Oh my gosh, I wore it to the gym this morning, which you might've seen. It is so pretty. I'll just give you like a little sneak peek. So I wore like the crop. Also don't know where my tripod is. So it's like tie dye. And I'm obsessed. So I've got like the neutral brown shade and then also the blue pattern. There's four colors, I believe, but they've got like the midi bike shorts and some crops. Oh my God, I'm obsessed and full length. I'll show you guys later, but, but yeah. And then I think my uncle and auntie are coming over tonight for kind of like Christmas drinks or whatever dinner um yeah i've just been editing the weekly vlog and it's not even 20 minutes yet so i'm so sorry that it's not gonna be probably too long this week but you know you win some you lose some guys okay so it's now nearly 4 p.m but i got in a package from coco and eve which is tan i've used it <laughs> hence why this is dirty um it's the tan that i've got on at the moment my hands are a bit not the best. I really need to pay more attention when I'm doing my hands because I kind of don't care. And I quite like it. It's a nice color. It's like olivey. It smells really nice. Like, 
not fake tan smelling at all. This is in the color dark. It came with a mitt like this, which has the thumb hole, which I think I like the thumb holes. As I said, I've used this, so that's why it's not brand new looking. They also sent along a Shi Sunny Honey Bronzing Face Drops product, which is like basically you mix it in with your moisturizer and then a little brush as well, which is actually really, really good. I'm definitely going to keep using this. They've also got some cookies, which I need to put in the fridge upstairs, um, which is so cute. They're like little... We also have the Coco and Eve Glow Figure Body Moisture Whip Lychee and Dragon Fruit Scent. Oh, that smells like Smiggle. Wow. Do you guys remember when Smiggle was like the bee's knees in like primary school and stuff? Oh my God. That is dead ass like walking into a Smiggle. Wow. If you had Smiggle in school, you were like cool. <laughs> Oh my god, that's just taking me straight there. Because, like, you'd have all your different colored rubbers and, like, scented stuff and, like, pens. In Australia, if you're confused, we call erasers rubbers. I know in other places, a rubber is a condom, so. Ooh, I've just popped that on my leg. Feels really nice. Ooh, yeah. <gasps> oh, she's soft. Definitely gonna have to give that one go. I need to clean my room. I can't keep my room clean for the life of me. I can't do it. Right, the stack stuff. So I've got this color, which is kind of like, it's like a gray, but brown at the same time. Tie-dye pattern, and they are the midi shorts. So they're the same length as the Premium Seamless V3. So nice. I wore these to the gym today, as you guys would have seen. And then the crop. So cute. I don't have the entire collection to show you, but um, I've just got these two colors. I don't know if it comes in tanks as well. It might, um... It's launching at 9 a.m. on Boxing Day. I love it. I will definitely be wearing these as normal clothes because I love the tie-dye. Like, that doesn't look like active wear to me. Like, I would definitely just wear that with, like, a big oversized tee or, like, a crop top or whatever. Okay, so for reference, I wear a size extra small in stacks, um, and that fits me really, really well. So, let me just pull you guys down a bit. So this is what the crop looks like. They do come with padding. I just took it out because I feel like I don't need it. These are like the non-strappy ones, if that makes sense, like the razorback ones. They're super supportive. I can wear them for hit and they're fine. I love wearing them underneath the little crops as well. So that is what it looks like. Kind of like a tie-dye, almost like galaxy vibes as well, which is quite cool. Feels really smooth. And then I've got on the full length tights as well. So these are the full length tights, extra small as well. They're actually a really good length on me and I am five feet tall, like I've said. So it's like a nice full length, like they're not too, too long. I'll show you the um, midi shorts as well. Okay, and these are the midi shorts. So they're not as long as like the best black series, but they are like the shorts from the new Seamless collection. I really like them. I feel like it's a really nice length where they're not too short, but they're not like bike short length. So cute. Like I said, I'm probably going to wear these so often, like just in my day-to-day -day life really. All right, I'll show you this color next. Okay, and then this is the next color. This one reminds me of a cow, but like in the best way possible. These are the full length tights. This is the crop. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I can definitely envision myself wearing like this, even when it's like spring or autumn, this with like sweatpants. That's cute. Bottom supply, they just snatch you in so well and like smooth everything out. Obviously, it's not everyone's cup of tea. If you like tie-dye, definitely get on this collection. It's so cute. If you are interested in shopping anything from Stax, my code is Connor10 and that will get you 10% off. Now, my uncle and auntie are coming over, so I'll probably hang out with them. I can't believe the next weekly vlog you guys are gonna see is gonna be like Christmas. Before we know it, it's gonna be Australia Day. <laughs> Like what? Oh. I'm tempted to do like a QA and a at the end of this video. I might ask you guys on my Instagram to send through questions so I can answer them at the end of this vlog because it's a little bit short. I do these fairly often on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, definitely go follow me. Um, I do like little ask me anythings over there all the time. But we're very, very, very close to 70,000 followers, which is so exciting. So let me just put up a story. By the fire, holding mom's hand, stay up all night, but wake up at 10. 
Don't wanna share any time when I'd rather just spend it with now 7 30 i'm gonna answer some of the questions that you guys sent through um okay let's do this okay one of the main questions that i get asked all the time is like the situation with my myself and freya if you don't know who freya is she's been in a like so many videos and like vlogs because she lived with my family in our spare room. Basically, in long story short, I met her probably like two ish years ago. She's like in my friend group. Her family moved to Melbourne about over a year ago now. I think it was November last year. But she didn't want to go to Melbourne because all her friends are here. Um, her partner was here, so she just wanted to stay. And we have a spare room in our house. And my family were like, hey you're more than welcome to take it. So she kind of did that. And then she lived here for a while and then she kind of moved out into her partner at the Times house. And then um, they broke up and then she moved back in to my house. And that was like, gosh, I don't even remember when it was. It's been a while, like I reckon over six, over six months. I feel like we've been living together for so long, like I, but it probably hasn't been that long. And we just happen to be like best friends. I feel like living together has definitely brought us closer. We were always friends. We started getting closer like before she moved in last year. Um, Now we're basically like inseparable. I love her with my whole heart. Like she is like my ride or die. She's probably watching this. Like I, she's like that one friend that you just know that you can tell anything to and like, they're not going to judge you. She's my rock. I have never laughed so hard with that girl. Like, yes, we did go to school together, but she was in the grade above me. So like, I never met her when I was in school. I only met her like through my ex-partner. So yeah, we're not sisters. We just live together. So she like rents the room essentially. And then when my house is ready, she's gonna move in with me and be like my roommate essentially. So it's a, it's a perfect situation really. It's good too, because like, it's almost as if we've had a practice run living together before moving out. I feel like we're really good at understanding each other. We're very on the same page. Like we can read each other. I feel like we can both tell when the other person just wants to be alone or we want to just like sit and we've gelled really well together. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to be absolutely fine living together. I'm so excited too, because I feel like it's going to be our house. Like we're going to have so much more space and just like do whatever we want. Like if we want to walk around naked, we can. That's obviously a hypothetical, but you know what I mean? So that's the story behind Freya and I. So a few people said, why did you decide to start YouTube? I hope you can see me. Basically in high school, I always wanted to start YouTube. Like I was obsessed with beauty YouTubers. I didn't really watch many vlog style, like lifestyle YouTubers, but I just knew I always wanted to start a channel of my own. And I started out doing like beauty videos and try on hauls. They were kind of like my main thing. And my acne was like a big thing because at the time in like 2016, there wasn't a whole lot of like acne representation on YouTube. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna, you know, show my skin, be vulnerable, do that. So that's kind of the reason why I started YouTube. And now it's kind of just evolved into this, which is insane. I never thought like it would get to this point. Obviously you hope and dream, but you never actually expect it, which is crazy. Ooh, someone said, would I ever get a tattoo and where would I get it? I actually was toying with getting a tattoo for a while. I've kind of got, when I was getting like all my piercings, I was just in the very like, oh, I want to get all these things done. Um, I feel like I want to get something to do with being Pisces. I know that seems about like how basic of me, but I'm never not going to be a Pisces. So I was kind of always toying with like getting maybe a constellation, maybe like here on my, like the rib, the side. It'd be very small, very delicate fine lines type of stuff. Um, that's probably what I would do. Someone said the frozen cauliflower in smoothies is legendary. How did it even come about? The story behind the whole frozen cauliflower thing, I saw it on TikTok. I saw a girl who was, I don't know, I don't have it. I wish I could credit her, but she was saying how she makes her smoothie bowls so thick. She said she puts frozen cauliflower in it and I just did it. And I was like, wow. And at the time I was trying to be a lot more low carb than I am now. I don't track my macros anymore. I don't do intermittent fasting anymore just because I'm at a place where I feel like I don't need to. Whereas previously when weight loss was my goal, those things were really helpful for me. Whereas now I'm maintaining, so I don't do those things. But yeah, that's how it, that's how it came about. 
And I was like, stunning. I'm gonna share this with everyone. And everyone was like, what the f And they tried it and they were like, oh, I see what you did there. Someone said, do you ever plan on going back to school? Probably not at this point in time. Like I might do like a course or something to like help if I ever start a business or something. I might do like a course in like website design or, or something, I don't know. But like at this point in time, I can't ever see myself going back to university with it anytime soon. I don't know, I just feel like it's not the place for me at this point in my life. Someone said, how do you find being single? What's like my dating or like relationship history? It honestly, I, I mentioned this with like when I did my Q&A with Georgia. So I've been single for about a year and a half now. And I've had like one serious relationship previously but i feel like this whole year has been so transformative for me like in every way shape and form i am have grown so much as a human being i am so independent now and i've previously i was a very dependent person on other people and i feel like now i will do anything and everything by myself no problem n n at all i will go to the beach go to the shops go anywhere on my own and it's so freeing and i love that it's definitely been a blessing in disguise to kind of have this time being single and just like it sounds cheesy but it is so true like you just have so much time to grow i'm so proud of myself um and i feel very content with everything and i'm now i'm very like ready for another person, but I'm definitely like not settling for anything less than what I want. I know what I want. I don't know if it sounds harsh, but I said, like I said this with Georgia, I'm not gonna waste my time. I just think there's no point. Like I'm so young, I'm not gonna waste my time with someone who doesn't give me the world and is like a complete match. I definitely have my good days and bad days. Like I feel like, cause Frey is in a relationship. So it is a little bit hard sometimes. Like you, of course you have days where you feel lonely. I'm just, I'm trusting the universe Universe and I'm like when it's my time it'll happen a lot of people are saying like have you met your trader yet no I have not yeah it also is really hard with like the global pandemic at the moment plus I work from home it makes things very very hard when it happens it'll happen I'm very confident that when it when it's my time it'll be my time and I almost have this inkling that my next partner will be like the one I don't know if that's dumb but I just I have a feeling I don't know Someone said, do you ever get burnout doing videos? I worry about that for you and I've told you this before. Yeah, honestly, I have been a little bit burnt out lately. I feel like November, December have just been so busy. November would like Black Friday and everything. When I'm able to move out, that's when I will be able to kind of be re-energized with my content again because it'll be like a new space. I'll be able to film anywhere and everywhere in my house. Like, whereas at the moment, I don't film everywhere. Like, I'm not going to film, like, upstairs when my family's around just because it's... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm... It's hard to explain. Very excited for the content that I'm going to be able to make and, like, the vlogs for when I'm, like, in my own space. And I think that'll give me such a boost of creative juices so yeah and it'll be very very soon we're gonna be in the new year before we know it and then you know a couple months and i'll probably be in i'm very excited for like moving vlogs and i am a little bit burnt out but it'll be really nice having christmas and stuff i'll be able to like you know kind of calm down a bit but yeah i definitely need to rest more that's something that i'm trying to work on because when you work for yourself like you're your own boss i'm my own source of income so if i don't work then i'm not gonna get paid and no one's being held accountable except for me i'm a bit better now for a, for a second there a few weeks ago i feel like you guys would have seen i was very tired and i just was like i need to stop and i had that weekend off i was like i need to have a break and that was really good so someone said are you actively searching for a boyfriend no i'm not i feel like for the first six months of this year i was like on tinder and all that stuff but i kind of i was just like this is not for me I just feel it in my bones that this is not how it's gonna happen. I went on a couple dates with people from those and like nothing was inherently bad, but I don't know. I just, I feel like online dating is not for me. A couple times I've down re-downloaded Tinder. I feel like people do that. And then I've just been like, nah, this is just not for me. I don't know. It's just tricky because as well, I don't know if this sounds, I think I'm someone I'm like special or I'm a celebrity or anything like that. Like, no, but people will be like, what do you do for a living? And it's just kind of like, oh, I do this and people can people can like contrive who they think you are as a person and i'm not actively searching for a boyfriend someone said updated laser experience i really want to get it done but i don't know where i have been getting laser hair removal on my like brazilian area so that's like everything for i think i'm up to my eighth or ninth session best thing i've ever done in my life hands down 
so good. I'm getting to the point now where it's like pretty smooth. My hair grows back fast. Like I, I think I said I bought um, full leg laser hair removal on the Black Friday sales because the hair on my legs grows back so damn quickly, like so fast. So I'm so excited to be able to have smooth legs. So obviously it's not for everyone. Maybe get those like at home laser hair removal devices. They could be really cool. If you want to invest in it, best thing ever. Someone said, how do you eat the same thing like every day, like for weeks at a time, like my pancakes? Do you get sick of it? I'm definitely the type of person who can have the same thing over and over again. I don't know. I just, I just can't. I love it. It will take me very, 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 very long time to probably get sick of these pancakes. Like I'm obsessed. I get sick of having oats. That's probably one of the foods I get sick of. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm just one of those people, man. Which is kind of annoying because I want to do more like what I eat in the days, but I eat the same thing all the time. A few people said like, do I regret getting my boobs done or like, does it impact exercise? Absolutely not. Do I regret getting them done? No way. I have a few videos, like six month update, three month update or whatever on the, my channel already. It was just something that I had wanted since I was like 15. It was something I was extremely insecure about. I would have gotten it done regardless of whether I was on social media or whatever. Like this is something that I've, I've known for so long that I wanted to do it. It doesn't affect my workouts. Some chest exercises like where if you have to lie on your chest or something, it, it, it feels a bit uncomfortable, but not painful at all. But I just don't do those. I just modify them. But I can jump, I can run, I can duck, I can do everything and I'm fine. Definitely don't regret it. I feel like they're very proportionate to my body. They don't look different after the weight loss either. I think because like before I had it done, I would never gain or lose any weight in my chest area. Like my boobs never got bigger or smaller from anything not from the pill not from losing weight or gaining weight nothing so i think because i have lost weight nothing's changed because nothing changed anyway so they look the same um someone said what motivates you to go to the gym or like how i say motivated and stuff in the beginning it is definitely hard but i think now i'm at the point where it's so much of a lifestyle for me that it's not a question of whether i go it's just like ingrained in me and i I love it. It's just habit now and it makes me feel on top of the world. Like half the reason is for my mental health. It just gives you that cloud nine. Like you just feel amazing. And I love F45. Like it's a community. It is kind of like social interaction for me. It's like my daily little thing. And obviously in the beginning it was for kind of like just to make myself feel physically better because at the beginning of the year I was just not feeling my best. I wasn't doing any exercise. I wasn't moving my body. So yeah, that's why I stay motivated because I know how it makes me feel. In order to make it a habit, you just have to keep going. I think it's like, what do they say? It takes X amount of days to create a habit I think you just got to keep going and then one day you will notice and think this isn't so hard anymore and I'm actually excited to go that was me I hated the gym I did not want to go and now I'm like the opposite which is insane to me so just keep pushing through you will wake up that one day and be like wow and like flip the switch and think Oh my god, I'm so excited. Should we do, would you guys want to see like a weekly vlog Q&A segment? Let me know, because I'll definitely do that, because there are so many questions. Someone said, what are you doing Christmas Day? I'm just spending time with my family. Um, I will be weekly vlogging, of course, so you guys will see that. Oh, this is a good one. Someone said, what has been your most memorable YouTube slash influencer moment? I don't know. I feel like I have a few. Definitely when I did the benefit campaign for the Cheek Leaders palette and I was like flown to Sydney and stuff. That was pretty amazing. That was so cool. That was definitely like a wow moment. Oh, getting verified. I wish I had it on video because I was like with everyone. I was with Freya, my family, and I just like jumped for joy. I was so excited. Obviously when I meet you guys, that's always like so cool um, because it's it's nice to put a face to people who watch my content. Someone said mood board for the new house. So my theme for the house is very like white minimal. Um, it's not going to be anything fancy by any means. Like it's my first home. I'm 21. I'm not blowing a million dollars on a house. Like I'm not. <laughs> It's going to be basic, but kind of cute. One thing I've always wanted I, and I love is like white with black fixtures. So I'm going to have like a black kitchen uh, sink 
and like black taps, black um, shower head. I know it's not for everyone. I know they have their cons to being like black. I love that look. I think it's so cool and classy and I'm obsessed. So that's kind of, yeah, every a lot of white, like white on white on white. And I'm, yeah, just because I feel like you can't go wrong with white. Photos, it's gonna be very, very helpful, but it's locked up now. So I can't really show you um, unless I go in when the tradies are there, which I probably should do so I can meet a tradie. I'm gonna end it there. Let me know if you wanna see like a Q&A segment in my weekly vlogs, but I feel like I need to hold this here. As always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.